Welcome to the outdoors, just doing stuff. I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna go over some hunting lessons. It is our off season. As far as I'm aware, everything is closed besides wolf and coyote. I plan on throwing some awesome coyote footage and some hunts. Maybe get a wolf in there if we get lucky coming here in the next month or so. Depends if I can get out to the woods or not. The weather is pretty getting pretty bad. We have 16 degrees. We're supposed to be hitting zero tonight. We have six, seven inches of snow on the ground, like I said. But it's Christmas, so why not? But here, let's get to our, our hunting lessons. So the first thing I want to talk about when it comes to hunting and when it comes to the new year is being a confident hunter. There's nothing worse than going out in the woods and not being confident in yourself and being confident in your gear. I'm not talking about gear that costs thousands of dollars, just being confident in what you got and confident in your shot. There's been so many times that I went out to the woods and I've gotten there and I wasn't confident in myself. I was un uneasy about the day. I wasn't sure. I was finding every little reason to not want to be in the woods, even though I really wanted to be there. And it's kind of funny this year that I did tag out and I got my, my buck that will be behind me eventually on the Wallow European Mount. I woke up that morning. It was about 3.30 in the morning. And I said, I'm killing a buck. That was November 14th of this year. I said, I'm killing a buck. I said, I am doing it. I have, I'm shooting something today. The season was just rough. And then right there, that instilled the confidence in me to want to have a better day, regardless of what I saw. And then, of course, we hunt public land. Public land, you're going to run into a lot of issues when it comes to nothing going your way. As far as people being there, hikers, other hunters, anything. I mean, it's public land. You never know what you could come across out there. I mean, a kid flying a kite, you don't know. Just things happen. But, I mean, it, when it when it comes down to it, confidence in yourself is number one. The next thing I would recommend is confidence back going back to your gear. I hunt with basic gear. I don't have a lot of money in my gear, but I'm confident in my gear. I know it's going to kill deer. I know it's going to take down elk. I know it's going to do everything I needed to do because I'm confident in that. And I practice. Practice instills confidence in everything that you do. So when it comes down to gear that I use, it's simple. I do a lot of my hunts out of just walking and stalking. I get pretty bored, honestly, just sitting down. After about 30, 45 minutes, I get antsy. I want to get up and I want to go find the deer. And I'm slowly learning the transition into sitting and waiting for the deer. Um, and that's one that goes back into instilling more confidence in myself about having the patience to know that a, a big buck or whatever I'm hunting at the time is coming to me and that I've done everything correctly so I don't have to get up and go find it. Because it's uneasy when you get there and the weather's perfect and everything's going good. But you just don't see what you're looking for even though it should be there. And a lot of that is just not not being confident in your area. Not being confident in what, in, in what you're doing. Or just just not knowing. And so sometimes you just have blatant by it, bad luck. But when it comes down to gear, just simple gear, binoculars. I recommend strongly recommend binoculars. Just a simple 3x9x40. I have a, a pair of bush nails right here. They work very well. They're given to me by my dad. Um, they work they, very clear. I can see very very far with them. I actually have a Rocky Mountain Special Edition binocular harness that goes on so there's no drag on, drag on the neck. After about three hours, it does get annoying wearing that around your neck. But now that I have the harness, it should be good news. And I recommend the harness and the binoculars. The reason why I say binoculars because... When you're walking through the woods, and even though you can see 50 yards with your eyes, clear as day, you can't see what's in those bushes. You can't see the deer. The deer already know you're there. But doesn't if you have, doesn't mean you know the deer there. If you have the binoculars and you're just glassing real slow, you're going to be able to catch what's there before it sees you. And that's going to instill confidence in your ability, in your hunting spot, and in yourself. And then, of course, going back to the gear that you're using. If you're using your gear correctly, if your binoculars, and your everything's right, you will see what you're looking for and you'll have success with it. And when it comes down to more confidence, also having a good eye. And not necessarily a good eye as just being able to see very well. A good eye as in as seeing something and knowing an opportunity, knowing that that could be a good spot. Even though maybe you don't want to go up that steep, super steep, massive hill. Or you don't want to go down that huge, steep draw. Or it could be raining like crazy, but you have a good eye. You see something. You know that something's there. Having that and with the confidence instills you that you're going to go down there and they're going to find you what you're looking for, or you're going to find signs. And now, going back to what we originally came back across as far as our season not being open right now, this is the time that I recommend you instill confidence in yourself as a hunter. Go out on hikes. 
take your family out. Go out, you know, just go out, have a good time and learn your area. Learn what's there, learn what's not there, set up cameras. Do what you gotta do, set up blinds. Maybe just go up there with a camera in the off season and just take pictures of what you see. Mark what they're doing, mark where they're eating, mark what color they are, maybe notice signs to where they're going. Um, private property, commonly they love fence lines. They will hug fence lines all day long if you're hunting private and public land together. They love them fence lines because private property owners usually feed deer. And they know it's like a dinner bell at a certain time, they're gonna go across that fence and they're gonna go numb them up some acorns or whatever the private property owners got out there for them. So fence lines is key. Trail cameras will help you with that. But now when it comes to hunting public land, you run into issues with trail cameras. I had one stolen this year. It happens, it's public land. I don't know what's on that, what's on it, but I hope whoever did take it, I honestly hope they get a massive deer. I hope they get the, a, de a deer of their life from that because the confidence in myself to put a camera out there, to know that there's big deer there, hopefully will instill that person to want to go do that the right way. Hopefully morally later on in the future, he will he will do it the right way. Get his own camera and do his own thing instead of just stealing. But I go with just the simple Tasco trail camera right here. It's an 18 megapixel IR. It has a little red, little red flashing light on it. But other than that, not all the time. Only when it goes to take the picture, it has a really dim uh, red light that pops up. You can't really see it. I've tested it a bunch of times. It doesn't spook the deer. I have 2,000 plus pictures of deer that I got this year, and they have no care in the world, and they were basically grazing the camera. Pretty cool to see. This is one of my first year hunting with the trail camera, and in doing that, it instilled way more confidence in me to know that where I was hunting wasn't a waste of time. That all those at miles I've walked and all those hours I put in walking through the terrain wasn't a waste of time. Instilling confidence to know that I knew I was doing everything correctly by using the proper gear. Now, I didn't go spend a bunch of money. Like I said, this is a $30 trail camera from Walmart. It takes eight AA batteries and an SD card. You get a pack at Walmart, 16, you get a 16 gigabyte SD card and some bat eight batteries. Throw it in there, tie it to a tree, set it up, and you're good to go. Very simple, very easy to use. I'm gonna do tutorials on everything here that I got. I got my monocular, I got my trail camera. I have my bow. This is gonna be an interesting one. This is one that you guys probably ought to have seen of the Walmart arrows, which is I got here, the Mossy Oak Walmart arrows. But this is an Amazon bow. It's called a ginseng. And I've done a lot of research on it. I shot brand name bows. I've had a diamond in my past life. I've shot Hoyt. I shot all the, the really expensive, nice bows. And I can say for the price of this one, you're not going to get anything better as far as speed, accuracy, and quietness, and lightness. Light is key. Having light gear carrying through their woods is nice because it's going to hang on you. And it's going to give you the confidence to walk even further through the woods. All going back to having your good confidence in yourself and the ability in your gear to get you where you're going. Like I said, it's Amazon bow. It's called a ginseng. It's their ginseng archery is the name if you want to Google it. No issues with it. I'll do a tutorial. Uh, it's easy. You don't need a bow press as far as doing the draw weight or the draw length or anything like that. Just it's pretty. It's pretty self-explanatory when you order the bow. And I'll get to that as we go further down the line. And as far as gear, when it comes down to is hats. Wearing a hat's nice. Keeps your head warm. Also makes you look good. If you want to look good. I personally like to match, but doesn't mean I go spend a whole bunch of money on matching camouflage. I went to Cabela's. I have matching Cabela's Redhead brand. Um, I think it's called the Katani. My favorite. I've had deer literally run up on me twice this year. Almost ran into me due to the fact that I was almost invisible. And, of course, dead down wind. You can't go anywhere without dead down wind. Couldn't smell me. But, again, that's having gear. If you have the right gear, you're going to see the deer. It's just what it is. You're confident in where you're going and the ability to get there. You're going to succeed. And that goes back to life as well. Whether it is, no matter what it is, hunting, fishing, anything outdoors, hiking, whatever you want to do outdoors, just doing stuff outdoors is what we're here for to help you do some stuff the correct way with the correct mindset, the correct attitude, and the correct gear that fits you, now it fits everybody else. You don't need to feel embarrassed or ashamed or insecure about what you have or what you're doing when you're out doing your stuff in the woods, in the outdoors. That's all about you, no one else. You have a, a red flannel and a blue jeans, have at it. Go shoot you a deer, who cares what other people think? Have a good time, be comfortable in your element, be confident in yourself. Be confident in the ability to make big decisions and know that they're the correct decisions when it comes down to it. One second for some cocoa. But yeah, that's it. That's it for today. I'm just a little brief. Just instill that confidence in yourself to keep going and, 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 and 
go what you're go what you're looking for. Hunting season never ends. Deer season don't end. Elk season don't end. All because you can't shoot an animal doesn't mean you can't doesn't mean you can't go. Doesn't mean you can't keep tracking. Doesn't mean you can't keep figuring out where they're at right now, where they're gonna go, where they're gonna be, where they're gonna bed, their habits. It's better to know where the deer are than to be chasing deer. I am not a deer chaser. I'm not a track chaser. I'd rather know where the deer are, where they're going to be at, and in doing that, and I put in time and effort in, in, in instilling that. I'm not the greatest at it. I do find myself still chasing deer. Everybody does. But it's confidence in your ability to get things done, confidence in your equipment, confidence in your gear, confidence in yourself. It is a new year. Be yourself. Don't worry about what everybody else has to say about you, what they think about you, what gear you have, what you're doing. Just be outdoors. Just be doing stuff and have a great time. And once again, don't want no one coming back. She's the lead. We got a herd of elk in front of us. Very beautiful December day. There they go. Look at it. 20 degrees out. 